Maguire Jr. says, when do you think they'll be released? Man, uh, I think sooner than we think. I'll, 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 I think it's, it's going to be dependent on several things, Harry. I think depending upon what happens with the economy, um, let's just say we're talking about Minecraft and not the real world right now, okay? Let's just say that in Minecraft, keep in mind, guys, Minecraft, not the real world. In Minecraft, let's just say there was this thing that was called some kind of like large and vast reset of sorts and um the whole premises behind this large vast reset large vast reset would be essentially to replace the current currency that we have now with a central bank digital currency and because of all the things that i just had mentioned uh how they're harmful negative bad and not good for humanity well they're going to be able to use those same exact things as selling points and say, well, they're great, awesome, and and good for humanity, right? So I think that let's just say that the financial collapse happens tomorrow. I think they'll try to. They'll, I, I think that they will try. They would most certainly try to implement it like tomorrow. They'll just pull out of a magic hat, like pulling a rabbit out of a hat, and say, "Hey guys, here it is. Um, this is the answer to all your problems. Now get on your knees and beg for your UBI, beg for your chicken tendies, and." If not, Harry, then then whenever that happens, and if it doesn't happen, well, then I don't think they're going to do it because it's going to be very hard to force people into a different currency, right? Um, my belief has always been that they're, they're not going to want to force people into a different currency. They're going to want to coerce people into it. They want they want people to to ask for it themselves. Hey, our currency is really fucked up. It's really bad. Um, our economic system is messed up. Can you please do something over there, Mr. Government? Mr. Government, Mr. Ice Cream Man, can you please do something? Mr. Jerome Powell, can you please do something? And then when that happens, kind of like, let's pretend I know this is a sock. Let's pretend this is a magic hat. Ah, you guys need some help? Ah, yes. Look at this that I found in here. This is our central bank digital currency. Here you go. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Master. Thank you so much. We appreciate your central bank digital currency. New Horizon says maybe they'll collapse the dollar and then have people buy into CBDC. Yeah, it's what quote unquote buy into. Yeah, so I know that's 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 what I'm thinking, right? The big companies will pay their wages in CBDC. This is how you join the systems. Yep. Yeah, that and there's another way too. They could just they could just start implementing these like UBI. To a select several, like what what have they done in China so far? Because we've seen that they've already implemented the digital yuan in China, right? How do they do that? They basically treated it like it was the lottery, and they were like, "Hey, sixteen whatever." I don't know the exact number, guys, but they're just like this amount of number of lucky people um, enter in here, and you guys could win one million dollars uh, of our currency, and it's going to be for testing purposes only, and um, they have to force every single place people to accept it. As a form of payment, it's going to be legal tender. So uh, any place is going to have to be able to accept it. And next thing you know, it's out in the ecosystem and everyone's just downloading their little wallets and so on and so forth. It's kind of like a virus, right? My dollar is worthless. Better buy this digital thing I don't know of. Why would anyone trust it, though? Isn't the dollar failed? Yep. Well, Muhammad, the, the real question is wh why? Are, why do we trust the U.S. dollar right now? Because I mean, um, right now we're all seeing a we're seeing a, a like a risk off flight into the dollar, and for whatever reason, for some reason, people still trust it, right? And why do they trust it? Well, because it's a publicly accepted form of payment. Um, it's not really if, if we're all being honest to ourselves, and even even the average street walker knows this by now. If we're all being honest to ourselves, like uh, the U.S. dollar is not is not specifically something that like. Um, you know, uh, is going to be a, a good long term like storage of wealth or value. We all know that everyone, any guys, anybody who's wealthy, they, their their value, their wealth, their quote unquote net worth per se is not held in dollars. Maybe it's denominated in dollars, but for example, Elon Musk, um, dude has like zero cash. He just owns assets and he takes debt. He takes collateralized loans against his assets. And since he, since debt is tax free, he's not paying any capital gains on any of that stuff, and he's able to live the life that he wants. And basically, all he really has to do is pay the interest on those loans. If indeed you believe that over time, 
the value of things like Tesla stock and Bitcoin and real estate is going to only increase. And because of inflation, essentially the loan ends up paying off itself. Now, it's not going to virtually 100% pay off itself, but I mean, you guys know what I, you know what I mean. So like, well, I'll, I'll, make, I'll make an example for you guys. Um, if so, like Bitcoin is $40,000 right now and I take a loan against one Bitcoin and let's say it's a 50-50 um, LTV loan. So I give them one Bitcoin and it has a value of $40,000 and they give me $20,000 cash, right? So they're, they're double collateralized. I'm double collateralized on my loan. And the only way that I would get liquidated, which is mean they would sell my Bitcoin, was it would be if that if that Bitcoin dropped below like $20,000, okay? And if it was going to, or I thought, or they thought that it was going to, I would just simply be able to add cash to that, or not cash, add Bitcoin to that loan, put to my collateral position, and then I wouldn't get what's called margin called, okay? Now, I do that in the year 2022, and then next thing you know, it's the year 2030. One Bitcoin is now worth $1 million in Minecraft, Right. And that twenty thousand dollar loan that I that I have with forty thousand dollars collateral, um, let's just say I paid about two thousand dollars of, of the of the interest on it. And the collateral that they have now is worth one million dollars. So basically I could just go to them and say, Hey, um, you guys are I'm way over collateralized on my position for this loan. So how about you guys give me back ninety nine per ninety nine percent of my Bitcoin um and call it a day? And then, then I'll just, you know, then you guys could have what's left of the, the position. And basically, you, by doing that, you've essentially paid off your loan because the value of the asset that you have a collateralized loan against becomes appreciated to the point to where, like, you basically just made free money that was tax-free. I don't even know how we got into that. That was quite the... Um, Muhammad, I don't know how we got into that, but I hope that was, I hope that was useful. It was quite the, uh, the tangent.